by our new assistant manager, Jay Bateman. Um, thoughts on the game? Um, it's a good run out. Obviously, the lads are disappointed that we've lost 4 1, but um, yeah, the result does mean a lot. But at the end of the day, it's been a good test for us. Um, in the second half, we had more of the ball, we changed the shape, went to 3 5 2, um, and obviously, we scored from that. Um, could have had another one with a, I think it was Callum with Heddon. Um, at that point, we're back in the game, that goes in. But overall, I think it's a good performance. Um, like I say, lads are disappointed, but it's, it's pre season, so you know, fair dues to crew. Put two strong teams out, both halves. Um, yeah. Um, obviously, it must be quite beneficial um, to face a, a league side, obviously. Yeah. I know they're obviously a better side as such, but obviously in in terms of like tactically and everything, it must be quite yeah, beneficial. Yeah, it, it, it's a great test for lads. And we said before the game, you know, it, football's a hard game. If you haven't got the ball, nobody likes it. And we knew Crew would have a lot of the possession today, but and the way they play, they play with one sitting in midfield and they play with two further forward and they split, um, which is difficult to mark. And you now with the field players first half, they find it a little bit difficult, I think, because we normally play a tight three in there. Um, so that is, is a learning curve for us straight away, a team that comes and plays a different way. Um, so yeah, credit to Crew. Um, always always good games against Crew. Um, I think uh, Dave's quite happy because last year we, we, we beat them, so I think Crew, you know, we're due a, we're due a win. Um, yeah, we we'll close out the game. We picked up a couple of injuries, which is a downside to it, but apart from that, great workout. Yeah, really good. So how have you found a free season so far? Obviously, it's been a bit strange. How is yeah, it? it's the lads came in over the, over the summer. Um, we didn't do that for the last few years, but they've come in. Probably 12 or 14 of them over, over on a Tuesday night, done a few hours, so that's helped, I think. It's been tough, um, it's been hard. Tried to get the footballs out as much as we can. Um, the difference is with full-time training, you're doing it over a period of, of the day. So you're doing a session in the morning, session in the afternoon. Whereas we're doing it on a Tuesday night, Thursday night, so we're trying to cram everything into to two hours. So that's the difficult side to it, and hence why we've had probably a few injuries today. A um, couple of players have been with tight hamstrings, tight quads. Um, so yeah, that side to it uh, is, is a difficult one, but it is what it is with that, really. Um, yeah. So um, my last question, obviously, fans have uh, seen a, a glimpse of Tommy um, over the last couple of days. How's he? Settled done really well, done really well. He's been in um, a few sessions with us, obviously trains with the crew as well, but he's been coming in with us. Um, looks really good um, um, with Tommy, it's that end product. If we can get him scoring more goals and creating in the final third. He's got great awareness, great balance when he picks the ball up. He likes to float around a little bit. Um, you know, today he's starting out on the left-hand side. It's going to be difficult to pick up. Um, he just drops his shoulders, goes either way. Really nice lad, and he's settling really well. And hopefully, um, over, over the coming months, um, he can create and score a few goals for us moving forward. Perfect. Thank you. Great. Thank you.